authors put an expired date on you. You are much more than your age. It is such a beautiful day, it's 10.30 a.m. in the morning and the air is so fresh, just love it. Morning. Hello everyone, I just gave my second speech at the Toastmasters meeting and it's been a pleasure for me to win the best speaker. Uh, I really would like to share this a great experience with you guys and hope you guys enjoy my speech and my video. Mongolian example as well. I 
in Mongolia, I think the pressure is not this crazy like China, but still I think it's kind of the same, right? Before age of 30, people are like expecting you to marry. And even for me, I had that expression too. I met someone who's a, girl, a woman who was 36 and still not married. And I was like, why? I was asking why, just I didn't know, I didn't think anything, I just asked why. And after that, I was thinking for a while, like, why do I say why? It doesn't matter, if you don't find true love, it's better to be stay single, right? And, um, and also I would like to talk about my example. I've been single for a long time, and um, when I was a little girl, I used to think, well, I'll be married and I have my first child at the age of 23. And this year, I'm turning 25, no, no kids, no husband, no marriage at all. And I feel a little guilty for not making it on time for the little girl. And I felt this kind of pressure from society and from relatives, even from my family. And even friends, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, actually, they're trying to take care of you. For those single people, they're trying to take care of you, right? Like, if you don't get married, what, what if you get like uh, left alone? They're just caring about you, but they're caring about you in a wrong way. So maybe you heard <coughs> like these words: Why aren't you not married? How old are you? Why are you so picky? What happened with all this? Met in your company, at your work, at your school, this kind of pressure is always there. Okay. So, however, there is a problem for single, some people, single people as well. I had that too. And I, because of that social, uh, societal expectations, this kind of love and relationship was, became a really negative thing for me. And when, I, when people just talk about, like, when they say one word, I'll be like, just be quiet, I don't want to talk about it. And I was very negative, and I was almost thinking that relationship is not good for me. And it was wrong. I think everyone desires true love. They're just tired of uh, hearing these accusing words, I think. And um, so next time, if you hear a word, why are you still single, there is a word by a psychologist, Matthew Hussey. Actually, I'm having a pretty good time being single, but if you've got someone cute to introduce me to, I'm all ears, I would like to meet. So it's showing that you still like to have someone to, uh, <coughs> to love you and still enjoying your singleness. And I would like to end my speech with this word from SK2 Zwicko. Don't let others put an expiry date on you. You are much more than your age. Thank <laughs> you.